Hey guys, Rudy Kalin here. Sorry it's been so long since I've done a video, but man, I have been so busy. You just can't believe it. I've got, I'm guessing well over 150 mags in the shop right now waiting for service. So I'm trying to dig my way out of those. But uh, but I thought, you know, I've got a little, little bit of time today. I'm going to do a quick video because I just finished the Magneto that I think you guys would be interested in. Um, the Magneto itself is, is not really that rare or hard to find or they're, they're around. Uh, it's the, uh, the Fairbanks Morse RV. Uh, this one happens to be a RV four for an Alice tractor. Got it in from a customer in, in terribly rough shape, and he wanted it restored, so so I did. And you, you'll be seeing that uh, coming up here. I'm going to make a quick video, though, on uh, on a couple of things on this RV mag. Um, uh, most importantly, the, um, the armature. RV mags are not the strongest, most powerful mag in the world. They were... They were good mags, but they were not excellent. Uh, um, uh, they, you know, Fairbanks dropped them early on and, and went to uh, a newer style mag deal that was far superior. So, but there's a lot of RV mags out there and a lot of guys want them running and, and I do uh, rebuild and restore lots of them. So uh, I'm going to flip the camera around, show you a little bit of a difference between the, the armatures. This one happened to have a very rare part. It's a uh, uh, it's an Al Nickel uh, magnet uh, rotating assembly. The the some people call them armatures. Some people call them magnetic rotors. But it's um, um, it's pretty scarce. There's not many of them around, um, and they're they're. Huge. I mean, uh, the difference between the the regular armature and this uh, Al Nickel magnet, which is a permanent magnet uh, uh, um, uh, rotating assembly here, is um, boy, it's uh, it's so much more powerful than the uh, than the more common uh, bar magnet uh, um, uh, armatures. And I'll show you that. I've got I've got my magnetometer here on the bench, and I'll show you the difference. And then, uh, um, and then I'll I'll do a, a cut at the end of the magneto on the test bench firing, and uh, um, hopefully uh, you guys will be as impressed as I was when I put the thing on there and and uh, uh, started it up. Man, this thing has probably, I'm guessing, you know, three eighths spark easy, and I could uh, I could. I'm sure go to a half inch. Uh, um, it's it's got amazing spark. So uh, let me flip the camera around. I'll show you the difference in the armatures. Then I'll show you this magneto on the on the test bench. Okay, guys, here we are at the bench, and as you can see, that's a uh, RV um, magnet. There's my uh, uh, magnetometer. It's uh, it's made by uh, Joseph Wiedenhoff. It's really a nice machine. It, there's going to be some glare in here, but I'll try. There, Wiedenhoff. It's a uh, uh, magnetometer. It tests the strength of magnets in units of gauze. Um, typically, a, a, a good uh, good magneto magnet is somewhere in the uh, uh, 25 to 30 gauze range. Um, and then here's that uh, Al Nico magnet I was telling you about. This one, uh, this one is not usable. I'm, I'm afraid uh, it uh, it has a lot of cracks in the in the pot metal here. You can see the magnets coming apart, coming apart here. Um, I actually robbed this gear and put it on the, the magnet in this uh, this uh, RV4 right here that I'll be showing you soon, but. Um, but let me show you the difference. It's really remarkable. These things are just so, so powerful. Um, if you take a, and, and what I did is I charged both of these, uh, recharged them, and then I'm going to uh, show you uh, 
the strength in uh, in gauze and my on my magnetometer. So here's the standard. Sorry, this thing isn't cleaned up. This magnet's no good either. It's got uh, this thing's wallowed out and will never never hold uh, uh, the impulse assembly correctly. So junk. <laughs> but uh, but let's check this. Uh, all we have to do is put it right on the end of this guy here and let's see what it measures. It measures about, oh boy, about 12, 13 gauze. That's, that's not, not so strong. And that's the problem with these uh, um, uh, RV magnets. Uh, so I can charge them up, but they're, they're at best, you know, they're not, not very powerful. Now here's this uh, Al Nickel magnet that goes in the RV mags. Let's check that out real quick. I'm gonna just put put it right against there. Look at that, 25, 26, something like that. Yeah, about 26. It's, um, man, that thing is uh, probably twice as strong as this guy right here. So if you guys can find a um, RV L Nico magnet. Um, they're just amazing, amazing magnets. They will uh, uh, greatly improve the uh, the spark on the on the RV mags. So um, that that's really about it. Uh, uh, difference between a standard magnet and an L Nico magnet. Uh, very hard, to, very hard to find. Um, I happen to have a few of them that I uh, have been kind of keeping in my back pocket here. <laughs> but uh, uh, this one happens to be for like an RV2. And I'm really sad that uh, it, the RV2B, the, um, the one that's kind of uh, 90 degrees from the RV2A for John Deere's. Um, kind of sad that this thing is not usable because, uh, boy, it would be, it would be a, uh, it would be nice to use this in a John Deere mag. Man, can you imagine the spark coming out of those? But I'll show you real quick here. And uh, uh, so that's uh, um, that's the the magnets on the uh, on the RV mags magnetometer. If you guys can find a magnetometer, man, they're they're hard to find and they're expensive, but uh, but they're really cool. Um, tell you exactly what uh, the strength of your magnet is. Um, and uh, once you start testing a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of mags, you'll you'll kind of get to know what a good magnet is and what a bad magnet is, you know. And bad ones go in the recycling, <laughs> and uh, good ones we just uh, we just charge them up and use them. So I'm not gonna ramble on too long. I'm gonna cut to the. Uh, uh, to the RV4 on the test bench, you can see the spark that comes out of these things. So yeah, I think you'll be impressed. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um, uh, I, I think I think that made such a huge difference putting that El Nico magnet in a uh, RV2. If you guys can find them, man, you got uh, you got something. So um, they're the magnet of choice, but unfortunately they're they're very scarce. So good luck finding one, and uh, if you do, uh, rebuild your mag with using that magnet because it'll make it way more powerful. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to get some more content loaded. Try. I'm, I'm very busy, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. So uh, you can find me here on, uh, uh, on YouTube, Rebuilt Mags. And uh, uh, Facebook is RebuiltMags.com. I, I have a Facebook page on there. And my website is www.RebuiltMags.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.